Bruce Springsteen, the boss. He's a living American legend. But before he became a star, did a mysterious hand help seal his fate? This is Biography. Bruce Springsteen might be the patron saint of New Jersey, but he almost left his home state behind long before becoming the boss. When Bruce was 19, his family moved west to California, but Bruce decided to stay behind and headed for the Jersey Shore. He moved to Asbury Park, an artsy little beach town, and that's where his fortune was set by a mysterious hand. It was the late 60s, and Bruce was hanging out on the boardwalk, playing his guitar for pocket change. The spot he liked was right across from this tiny shoebox of a building. The sign read, Madame Marie's Temple of Knowledge. Now, Madame Marie was sort of an Asbury Park legend, the gypsy queen of the boardwalk, who told fortunes for everyone, from Judy Garland and Diane Keaton to Ray Charles and Elton John. Anyway, after a while, Bruce wandered in and sat down for a reading. Marie looked at Bruce's palms and gazed into the future. She told him that one day, he would be a rich and famous musician. And Bruce didn't forget that Jersey Beach town or Madame Marie when he made it big. His breakout album was called Greetings from Asbury Park. And in later songs, Bruce gave shout outs to Madame Marie. Years later, Madame Marie admitted that her prophecy might not have been quite so mystical. She said that it didn't take a psychic to see that Bruce had talent. Fortune told or not, Madame Marie inspired Bruce. And he's never forgotten those glory days.